In this video, I just want to look at a few more um, um, characteristics um, of uh, surface commands um, within TBC. So here, what I want to do is just import a very basic um, CAD file. So all what I'm doing is I'm dragging and dropping this CAD file, and we can see that it appears within um, TBC, and it's actually got a set elevation. So if I just click on this uh, CAD file, we can see it's got an elevation of 108. So if this was a pad that we were having to construct, then I could just choose to select that, and I could just say that we want to actually um, create a new surface. Let's give it a color. So we'll give it a color um, purple, and we can just choose to hit OK. And if I go into my 3D view, then we can see that surface. So once again, because I've got settings here for how we display it in 3D to elevation, I'm going to change that to surface color. And we can see that that basically pad is actually partly in cut and partly in fill. But this pad at the moment, um, if we want to actually interface to the existing surface, and most likely it's actually going to be the topsoil strip surface. So this is the topsoil strip surface. Then what we need to do um, is have some sort of batter that would actually go between the two surfaces. So a very useful command within TBC is the um, surface tie command. And it generally just allows us to create this batter. So I'm just going to call this uh, tie for pad. I'm going to put it into a layer. So I'll just put it in a layer called pad. We are tying to the topsoil strip. So when we're generating the slope from the pad, it's going to stop when it hits the topsoil strip. We've selected this poly line. We choose a direction, which is easiest to actually choose on the screen, so I can just select it there. So it's going out from the surface. This maximum spacing is how far between triangles when we're creating this uh, batter. And then we can say, if for instance, it's in cut, we can say that we're happy with a one and two, but for a fill, then we can say that we need to have a slightly shallower batter and put it to one and three. And then we can choose to round or have the round the corners or have them as sharp. So we'll put it to round. And then when we're creating this uh, tie, then I'm going to add it to the existing surface called pad. And we can just hit uh, apply to that. And then we can close it. And we can see in 3D view, we now have basically, have it turn the surface back on. We now have this pad, um, which has actually got this batter forming all the way around. So if I go into my 3D view, and if I just go to my um, surface slicer view and slice from the back to the front, then we can see in purple here, if I just turn the grid off, we can see in purple where the actual pad is. And you can see it's actually going to the topsoil strip surface rather than the original ground level surface. Um, one of the nicest features of TBC generally, which is uh, fairly unique, is that if we're forming surfaces from dependent, if it's uh, the surface is formed um, on objects on which it depends, if we, ed if we edit these um, entities, then the surface will automatically update. So for instance, if I go into this polyline and if I run a cut fill analysis and find that I've got too much material and I need to lose some material, then I can basically just go in here and edit the actual raw um, polyline or AutoCAD information, and you can see it basically completely recalculates the the um, the batters. And likewise, if I go in here and set it to something like 99, once again, it completely uh, recalculates that. And because we have in the surface tie um, the instructions that if it's in cut, then it's one and three, if it's in fill and one and two, it's automatically switching between these two uh, batter slope values depending on whether the, the, we're in cut or whether we're in fill. So one of the very nicest features within TBC is this ability that if we edit an object in which a surface depends, then the surface will um, automatically update.
So that's just a quick um, overview of some of the um, additional surfacing tools that we have within TBC.